the word legend is bandied around way too often in sport because there's not 30 club le legends in your squad every year. But unfortunately, Irish people look upon it like that. But if there was a person, I suppose, that merited to be treated differently than the others, irrespective of uh, performance, and it really does come down to performance, Adrian, and actually at the end of the day, because that's how you decide. But there are some guys that are a little bit bigger than the game for the environment and on the outside and having played with Peter for me he would be uh, the outlier in that regard he would be the person because um, I think he makes people around him better and if you were to throw through the monster squad another guy that would jump out would be Simon Zebo in that regard that they have a, a radiating presence about them the performance then becomes a different debate because there have been times when I presume we've all felt that there was more in Zebo. but when you look what he does on the pitch, um, I can't tell you because I don't have his performance graph uh, in terms of you know, how many uh, training sessions he's attended, how many games he's played, how well he's played in those games. But uh, for me, in terms of the backs, that would be the guy I think that deserves probably someone you can build a team around and from a forward's point of view and from a, 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 a full environment point of view, Peter Omani is the, is the shining light for Munster and has been for a long time. And, and um, <clears throat> um, that's a huge role to play. Yeah. And, and like, even if it's bad news, right? So I think everybody, everybody's accepting that, you know, the terms and conditions change as you work through your career. He's certainly in the winter of his career. But even if it's bad news that, like, we're talking about a conversation that began maybe even before last January, but it's certainly been talked about in that regard, like, at least that it's dealt quickly. And uh, you'll have some, obviously, uh, deep insight into that from your last few years. Um, but at least that it's dealt quickly in that regard. Like, that's where the respect bit comes in. The terms aren't everything you want, but we're going to get this sorted out quickly and give you clarity very quickly. And I think that's a big part of his frustration. Of course, because, it, well, it's sport is... Uh, dealing with people and making people feel good, you know. But I suppose from the business point of view too, you have to understand, Adrian, the, 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 does the player want to talk? So, you mean, essentially, uh, it's a player's game and they're holding all the aces. Mm. Then the club has the final decision on whether he's top priority, he's priority, he's priority with a few asterisks, or under no circumstances are we willing to keep this guy. Mm. But for me, it's it's so important that that is uh, done by the decision makers. Who are the decision makers? Peter Romani and his um, management team and um, the, the, head, the head coach. For me, that goes to establish relationships, to keep those relationships going, to keep the trust going. For me, that's where, as a head coach, I'd insist on stepping in. Uh, yeah, okay, well, it's the club that's signing him. Raj, you're not signing him. Okay, well, I'm employed by the club, but I've got to feel he's my player. I care for this player. I want him to stay. I've got to do everything possible. Then if you understand that you've information from the club that this is possible, this is possible, this isn't possible, um, you have to say, um, I really want you to stay, but your deal isn't going to be as good. Why isn't it going to be as good? Because you've another 12 months in your legs. There's succession planning. We really want to bring on the young guys that we feel that can play for Ireland. Yet at the same time, Peter, no one has your experience. And uh, we know that in the last 20 minutes of games, you could be the difference. And then obviously I've contradicted myself there because he's been taken off in the last 20 minutes of games. But, uh, you know, there may be uh, a good reason from a, a rugby point of view that um, he isn't there for the last 20 minutes. I don't have that data and I don't have that inside knowledge and it's not interesting for me. But I think what is very interesting for me is that no matter how uh, potentially bad the information is, you got to give it to the player. He won't like you, but he'll respect you. 